16 year old now arrested after throwing rocks at drivers along a Dade City Highway. The rocks hit at least one person who quickly called law enforcement. Yeah, and our Carson Chambers explains how this teenager didn't get very far before a deputy gave him no choice but to surrender. Carson. Well, hey there, that driver was coming through the intersection at 3 a.m. this morning. We're at Old Lakeland Highway and Clinton Avenue. Uh, when he came through this intersection, a big rock about this size slammed into his car. So he doubled back around to see what was really going on. He got hit again, and that is when a deputy responded. The speed limit along Old Lakeland Highway in Dade City is 55 miles per hour. I do slam on the brakes and swerve to the side of the road. Fast enough that Deputy Axel Rodriguez feels pretty thankful he finished his night shift and came home to his five kids. For sure, a rock about softball size went right across my windshield. Rodriguez was checking out a report of a teenager throwing rocks at passing cars near this intersection when one rock almost hit his cruiser. I'm not very good on physics, but I'm pretty sure that with my speed plus that rock going the way it was, I'm pretty much would have got hurt. Anybody would have got hurt or killed. He arrested a 16 year old hiding in the brush around these railroad tracks. We're not naming the teen because he's a juvenile and no one was hurt. As I was looking for him waiting for K-9, I announced my presence and I advised the uh, suspect that, hey, I have K-9 on the way. It's best that you let me find you before the dog does. And uh, behind some bushes, um, a juvenile popped up. Okay, that juvenile was arrested and is facing a felony charge. They believe there could be other people who drove through here and were hit by rocks. If that was you, you're asked to call the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Live in Dade City, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.